Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Zach Cox, and today what I got for you is some of the most haunted and creepy locations within the Grand Theft Auto series. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. You have been blowing me away with the support, so I do just want to take a second out to thank you guys for that. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up if we could break 2,000 likes again. That would be awesome. But that said, here are some of the most haunted and creepy, scary locations within the Grand Theft Auto series. First up, we have the Sprunk Factory from Grand Theft Auto 4, and once the largest Sprunk manufacturer in the world, the Sprunk Factory appears to have been abandoned for a very, very long time, long before 2008 when the game takes place. With a very eerie facade, the building has become dilapidated and weathered. Home to several in-game myths ranging from players seeing black figures, apparitions, and hearing panicking screams and shouts, the Sprunk Factory seems to be only home to tramps and hobos, which I think would be a good thing opposed to all this paranormal stuff. Nevertheless, the Sprunk Factory's spooky ambience makes it a prime location for creepy stories and myth hunters. Next up we have Baco Beyond from GTA San Andreas, and appearing as one of the most dense and isolated areas in all of the game, with no structures aside from the highway, just saying the name Baco Beyond sends chills down my spine. Featuring the largest forest in the state, it contains many rock formations, varying elevations, and extremely treacherous terrain. With its off the grid type of environment and spooky ambience, this location naturally calls for myth hunters to investigate. Sightings in this area include Bigfoot, Pigsy, Ghost Cars, and a peculiar lake that possesses unique properties. In Grand Theft Auto 3, there is a long abandoned tunnel for the most part that runs under Salvatore Leone's house and connects A-Ball's bomb shop to the rear of a supermarket building. Filled with tramps, possibly the remnants of Darkle's gang, these people are not hostile, but they do carry Molotov cocktails, and if Claude runs past one of these tramps, instead of their shoulder being knocked, they trip and they fall to the ground, so they're very brittle, and nonetheless, the long, dark, and dreary hobo tunnel makes for a very unique, yet eerie place to travel through in Grand Theft Auto 3. Moving on, we have GTA 5's abandoned mine shaft. Most likely used by coal miners to mine coal, the mine shaft is home to the GTA 5 murder mystery. With its array of tunnels and dead ends, a body from the 1940s era by the name of Isaac can actually be found down here. If that isn't creepy enough, players have reported sightings of ghosts, mysterious noises, and even the sound of footsteps being heard, usually after passing by the body, even when the player isn't moving at all, certainly confirming the myth of this place being haunted. And last up, we have Apartment 3C from Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Regardless of this location being a reference to a scene in the movie Scarface, the stillness of this place is very haunting. With an apartment room that doesn't seem out of the ordinary, if you go into the bathroom, you will discover a very, very gruesome scene. A bloody bathtub wall accompanied by a chainsaw on the ground. That alone is enough for me to get out of this building and as far away as possible from it and never come back. All that said, that actually wraps up my list of some of the most haunted and creepy locations within the Grand Theft Auto series. If you know of any I didn't mention in this video and would like to see a part two, be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know. We can definitely do a part two. If you enjoyed, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If we could break 2,000 likes, that would be so awesome. Be sure to also subscribe to never miss out on more daily video game content on my channel. And with that said now the way, I believe that's just about it. You guys all take it easy. Have a safe one. My name is Zach Cox, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.